cracking with your snack and snacker stars. It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again on a Tuesday for a mind-boggling scrambled edition of OTR. Today I'm at a deli to check out some New York style fare. And also, guess what? I got something else that you might consider kind of New Yorkish or deli-fied or whatever you want to call it. That's Celray. That's right, the long-awaited Snack Society Celray review is here. And, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the Burger of the Year announcement, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be right back right after this with an exciting edition of OTR. Hang on tight. You are looking live at the Woodside Deli on Middlebrook Road in Germantown, Maryland, on the corner of Middlebrook and Germantown Road, really. And it's in the same shopping center where the Wendy's was last week that I went to. And oddly, it's the second place where I've lived concurrently or consecutively rather where there's a game stop and a wing stop right next to each other go figure they've also got a domino's over there and there's a place called truck tacos that i want to try out as well but anyhow the reason why i'm here is to check out some new york deli style action apparently the woodside was opened or established rather in 1947 and it's here in germantown like i said and they've got all kinds of things going on. If you open up this menu, it's just jam-packed with action. Everything from burgers to triple-deckers to subs and hot dogs, kosher dogs at that, you know, deli fare. Then they've got like full diner-style dinners. So that's pretty cool too. They got your lasagna, your meatloaf, you know, things like that, big salads, whatever. You know, a cornucopia of comfort food, if you will. And I went for a submarine sandwich. The one I went for, is in this box what I got is called the New York Deli Sub and that's on an Italian roll with let's take a look it's got roast beef apparently but that's underneath this uh, capicola ham it's also got salami and mozzarella cheese on this bread with oil and vinegar served with fries and coleslaw all looks very very tasty fairly uh, pricey though $12.95 but it's a lot of food for that $12.95 you also get a nice pickle that's a really good looking pickle there too I like that a lot Let's see if we can thumb through the pages of the sandwich real quick yep there's that roast beef you see the mozzarella it's got lettuce and tomato on there and the works the bread smells pretty good I can smell it from here it's got some really nice wedge looking or steak looking style fries and there's that coleslaw right there. All right, it all looks very, very good. And I want to show it to you a little more closely, put it in my mouth, and let you know what I think about it right after this on OTR. All right, gang, I'm back. You know, I was trying to think about what to do for OTR today, and I really couldn't, you know, put my mind around anything on a national basis. I mean, I still hadn't gotten around to doing that bacon quarter pounder or bacon Big Mac at McDonald's, and you know what? I don't think I'm going to. You know why? Because basically, I think it's kind of trite. I, I I've had bacon on a quarter pounder during this, you know, with the signature burgers, and putting bacon on a Big Mac just seems like it wouldn't really be all that great to me. And also, it's just kind of rehashing something that's already out there. What's the point in doing that review anyway? No disrespect to anybody who has. It's just my view on it. I don't think it's really worth doing. Anyhow here today to check out this sub from Woodside Deli. Now, you might be saying, well, Brandon, you're, you know, you're throwing away views by putting something on Local Focus. Well, I th thought about that, and, you know, I haven't done a lot of stuff on the Local Focus as of yet in this particular area, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Let me go ahead and pick up a half of this bad boy, show it to you a little more closely. Look at the cross section there, nice and thick and jammed with meat. Looking good there. Show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. That's only half of this bad boy. So, you know, that's a pretty good size sandwich. Doesn't appear to have any condiments on it besides the oil, uh, that it, the vinegar and oil. Will it need something? We'll find out. Let me take a bite. Two words combined to become one. Out and standing. Outstanding is what this sandwich tastes like, guys. I just can't even wrap my mind around the complexity of the combination of flavors, even though it's so simple, man. Um, you know, breaking it down from the bottom to the top, the way we always do, might even be difficult because everything blends together so darn well. Um, so, 
The Italian bread is perfect, crusty on the outside, very, very soft and pillowy on the inside, inviting you to come in and take a little bit of a nap. You got that oil and vinegar right off the back, giving you a tart sort of uh, tanginess, uh, a little bit of good lubrication for the rest of what's getting ready to go down, man. What that is, first of all, are really fresh veggies, man. The tomato was really firm and nice. And I'll tell you what, a lot of you sub shops and burger places need to learn. You, We need leaf lettuce like this in our sandwiches, guys. Not some stepped on, mishandled lettuce that's all just like, you know, falling apart and everything. We don't need anything like that. We need lettuce just like that. Not copious amounts like they do at Jersey Mike's. We need just a nice amount of leaf lettuce. All right, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, the tomato is really juicy as well. I think that's really good. Sometimes you get a firm tomato that's on the dry side, or you get a juicy tomato that's on the mushy side. This one's just perfect, I'll tell you that much. You got that turkey, which, uh, it's not turkey, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm looking at something white, that's the cheese. The cheese, the mozzarella cheese actually creates sort of a blanket for the meat of this uh, meal, which is the meat. Uh, or the meats, rather, and I'm so excited about those two. You know I love a good roast beef, whether it's here, Roy Rogers, anywhere. Good roast beef is good roast beef. This is good and beefy and juicy. Tastes really, really nice and excellent. You got also the salami, which adds a spicy kick sort of to the whole deal um, and a nice uh, change in texture. Uh, then you've got the capicola ham, which really is a nice... Um, it's not quite smoked tasting, but it's got a very uh, earthy sort of pork flavor in this case, and really uh, makes reminds me of some of the better Italian sandwiches I've had at other places, uh, actual delis, you know, like the celebrity deli or whatever, you know. Um, but all that said, uh, I can't say anything bad about this. All those flavors then combine together into one perfect sandwich flavor. I can't do anything other than give this sandwich on its own a 100% full thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. That's outstanding. It comes with a pickle. Go ahead and take a quick crunch into this, let you know what I think about that. Juicy, perfectly brined. Very, very good and crunchy. Love that pickle. Going to be great for me to finish this sandwich by taking a bite of pickle, take a bite of sandwich, you know what I'm saying on and on and on. Also, you got the nice little wedge fry or steak style fry. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of that. One thing I have to give them a nanny nanny boo boo on though is Heinz ketchup. Really guys, I'd rather see Heinz or if not Heinz, something that's like kind of off off brand like uh, chef quality or chef select or whatever it's called or uh, ambassador or something like that. Heinz is just kind of the sniggle fritz if you know what I'm saying. But let me go ahead and take a bite of this fry. That fry was really nice in a lot of ways. Uh, kind of mushy in the middle though, so not quite as good as that pickle or that sandwich, but still a good accompaniment rather to the sandwich. And I'm gonna go ahead and give them like a three quarter thumb up. Um, I'm not sure what's up with the ratio on that. Maybe it needs a little more salt, uh, a little bit more time in the fryer. I'm not really sure, maybe a little less time. I don't know what, what happened there, but not quite perfect, but still really good. Not a big slaw guy. We're going to go ahead and give this a shot anyway, you know, see what I think about it. I do like Popeye slaw, for example. I know that's probably sacrilege to anybody who makes real coleslaw, but here you go. What can I say? Your mind can change, right? That's a really good slaw. It's crunchy. It's got a good flavor with whatever the mixture is with the mayonnaise and whatever else is used to, you know, flavor the coleslaw and to lubricate it and moisten it or whatever. I'm not a big cabbage guy, but couldn't tell it was cabbage, to tell you the truth. I like that quite a bit. I uh, could actually see putting some of that on my sandwich as well, and I might do that later on. We'll go ahead and give that a good 7 8 thumbs up. Um, I had to go down to the bottom to get some more of the moisture, so the top part wasn't quite as tasty as the bottom part. But still really good. If I mixed it up really good, I think we'd get 100% full thumbs up. But who knows? I'm not an expert on coleslaw. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and get to the... Uh, what some people might have wanted to see when they clicked on this video, that's the Celery Soda by Dr. Brown's review uh, in a green can since 1869. Been a subject of jokes on Jerry Seinfeld show. You know, Seinfeld is the name of that show, by the way, uh, if you're not in the know. Anyhow, go ahead and open it up. 
Doesn't smell overtly like celery, but uh, let's see here. Sorry, I'm looking, trying to look out the window, but there's so much steam, it's kind of strange. I guess because I had hot fries in here and it's a cold day, rain and so forth, condensation. You know the rules of science. All right, guys, let me try out the celery. If it's supposed to taste like celery, then it's done a better job of tasting like celery than celery does, because that tastes pretty good. And I don't know if it's because it's a sweet celery that I like it, but I actually like it. It's like a Sprite-ish kind of thing, but with a little more ass to it. Um, damn, let me have another taste. Yeah, a lot more fruity than you would expect something... Uh, so supposedly celery flavored or whatever to be. I don't know. Is it supposed to be celery flavored? Help me out, New Yorkers. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a seven eighths of thumbs up too. That's pretty darn good. That's surprisingly good, guys. Two dollars and thirty nine cents for a can. Good. I don't know about that, but still pretty darn good anyway. So really good visit overall to Woodside Deli here in Germantown. Go ahead and give them a shot if you're in town. Uh, why would you be in town? I don't know. But if you are, give them a shot. Uh, I'd say they're pretty darn good. And, you know, if you feel like spending a couple of bucks more than McDonald's on your meal, then, yeah, you're in good shape here. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. But we're going to go ahead and get to the announcement. I don't have a certificate this year, and I'm not doing a whole award show. I'm doing award segments on each of these shows. So here we go with the 2018 Snack Society Burger of the Year. Uh, this is based on burgers that scored either 7 eighths or full thumbs up over the past year on Snack Society OTR or even Takeout Tonight. Um, and also uh, anytime I might have reviewed a burger. And also, of course, when Terminator Tony T was here with me every week, also his scores count as well. So that brought it down to actually a three uh, burger race, even though I, you know, in terms of the real best scores, although I put about seven of those burgers the highest scoring burgers on the Snack Society Facebook page. We went ahead and uh, had a poll there to decide who or which was the best burger, and it came down to three uh, between our scores and between the vote. It was Fuddruckers, Frito Pie Burger, and then two burgers by Smash Burger, the Pub Cheeseburger, and also the uh, French Onion Burger. And so... Basically, the Frito Pie Burger, only reviewed by me, not by Terminator Tony T, got 7 8 thumbs up. But it won the Snack Society vote on the Facebook page. So that basically counts as a full, 100% full thumbs up and a 7 8 But just one vote beneath that was the Smash Burger uh, French Onion Burger. And, ladies and gentlemen, it got a full thumbs up from both me and Terminator Tony T., that's a really close vote, and I don't know if you want to try to tabulate any kind of mathematics to see what truly comes out, you know, mathematically the winner. But I think just by a nose, because it got two full thumbs up and a seven eighths, and basically the other one got two full thumbs up, I'm going to go ahead and give it to Smash Burgers French Onion Burger. It was one of their burgers of the month, guys, back several months back. Uh, and this thing had everything, man. It's kind of like Stefan reviewing a club in New York City. It, this this burger has everything. It had, you know, cheese. It had uh, French onion dip on it. It had actual grilled onions. And it had burgers. And it was on an onion bun. And it was so darn good, guys. So darn tasty. Uh, I had a similar, uh, similarly themed burger at the Habit Grill. Not too terribly long after that, and it wasn't executed half as well, in my opinion. And in this case, Smash Burger, which has closed a lot of locations in my general area, has gone ahead and won the 2018 Snack Society Burger of the Year Award. Award. I don't have a certificate because I don't work at a place that has a uh, printing capability off of something like... Uh, any kind of publisher or something like that. We have a very closed and secure facility. So couldn't do that. And my printer at home wasn't working. So 
maybe I'll make a certificate for them later on down the road, but as of right now, there is not. There is just this recognition on the Snack Society OTR on the Facebook page, which you can join by clicking on the link down in the description down below. You can join us on Patreon uh, by clicking on another link down there, and you'll be checking out Snack Society OTR The Extra Mile, which comes up right after this video if you're a uh, OTR, or rather Snack Society Patreon supporter. And then also, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check me out on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Brandon Reich SAS. Make sure you use the handy hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way you know what we're eating and we know what you're eating too. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified. In the meantime, in between time, I will see you next time. I'm going to grub. Bye.